My average day is busy <laughs> and starts early. I like to check in with my emails, check in on any notifications from study. It's not very long in the morning, but we have breakfast together, get ready for work and daycare, and then off we go to start our days. And in the car, I think about my work, I think about my study, I prioritise what I need to do. I make a bit of a plan of how I can get things done in that particular day. If I have a breakthrough, I send a voice to text message to myself so I don't forget it. Anyone who's worked in a school knows how crazy it can get in the morning and easily distracted you can be. So having the reminders on a device or sitting in my email, then I'm confident I won't forget about them. I usually have about half an hour in the mornings where I can do some reading or catch up on discussion boards. And then my work day starts. And then I find throughout the course of the day, there is always 10 minutes, 15 minutes that I can pinch and get a little bit of study done. One of the key tools that I've taken from my professional life is staying organised and prioritising. I like to keep lists, so I have my work list and my study list and my family list and they live on my phone so they travel with me wherever I go and making the most of five minutes here, ten minutes there, that really adds up over the week and you can get quite a lot done. <laughs>